inmates. Really exciting news. The new Denali D3 is gonna be here very soon. I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that I had it here right now by the thumbnail that you've just clicked on to get to this video, but I really wanted to make a quick video just to tell you what is coming. Now, I've had my D3s on order for two months because I needed to put like an early order in to give an idea of what I thought the, the marketplace will be wanting. And I base that upon the specs that I was given. I can tell you right now, it's not just one set of lights, it's two sets of lights. You've got the Denali D3 driving lights and you've got the Denali D3 fog lights. If you were to go on the website now, cause I've got them on my website right now so you can pre-order them. If you go on there right now and select light pods on the left hand side and then on the search little thing at the top right hand corner if you're on a, if you're on a desktop you can search in order of popularity in list price so if you if you search from highest price to lowest price you'll see that the driving d3 is set there just between the d7 and the d4 it's just priced over the d4 and then the fog light is down there with the, when I say down there, it's with the D2. So it, the, the price points are very, very similar, just above the D2. Now, I am very excited by this because if they had come to me and they said, right, we've got these new D3, Steve, how many do you want? If they showed me specs that told me, uh, I don't think this is gonna beat the D4. I don't think this is gonna be better than, than the D2. Well, then I wouldn't have been interested. But I've put an order, an order in that I can't backtrack on. I've committed to that. So I have got 50, I'm being very open here. I've got 50 pods of each. That's 25 pairs that are gonna be in stock. It could be next week, it could be the week after. I'm not entirely sure at the point of making this video. I'll know more in the next 24 hours. But they are, they are on their way. I just want to literally just read off the specs of these D3s because I've been so excited about them, but I've been under embargo where I can't actually divulge the information. Otherwise I'd have a law case to get put against me. So, but now I'm allowed to. So here we go. I'm gonna first start off by just letting you know the, the, the mothership light, we all know it, it's the D7, yeah? You've seen it in my videos, if you haven't, I'll put links up above so you can see the, the Denali D7 shootout that I did against some clear water Dixies. But um, you, can, you get an idea of how powerful the D7 is. So that is the flagship light. So I'm just gonna read these out as, as a pair. So a pair of D7s will have a power draw of 10 amps. Now we're not going to talk about peaks because I find in practice that they always peak over 10 amps, but let's just let's just go by what's written on paper here. So the power draw is 10 amps for a pair. The beam distance you get from a, a pair of D7s is 1,505 feet, or as Americans probably say, 1,505 feet. But that gives you a beam width of 200 feet. So that's one hell of a beastie beam of light, and it is very powerful and you get 15,330 lumens from that pair of D7s. Now, moving on to the new D3 driving lights, you've got three different possible setups the same way you have with the D3s. You can have a spot beam, you can have a combo beam, and you can have a hybrid beam. I'll, I'll explain exactly what those beams are and how you achieve those beams in a moment, but just to read off the spot beams to you in comparison with the D7s, the beam distance with the spot beam lens on will project 1,910 feet. Now, if you remember, I said the D7s is 1,505 feet. So this, this light, which is smaller to look at than the D7, can actually throw the light further down the road. So straight away, that's got to be pretty excited. And we're making a big saving of money here as well. The beam width, however, is only 100 feet. So that D7, still a mega of a light. It's so much, it's so much light. You've got 200 foot of width with a D7, but with the new D3 driving lamp, you only get 100 feet of width. Don't forget, I'm quoting the specs from a pair of D3 driving lights. Now, if we look at the D4s, you'll you probably all know when a pair of D4s arrive, they come with, with a hybrid lens fitted to the front of it. Let me show you that right now. As you can see on there, the top LEDs have got a clear lens in front of them and the bottom LEDs have got a mottled lens under them. 
And the reason why it's like that is because that is the hybrid lens. The bottom is your floodlight. It's like your fog light and the top are your spot beams. And, and you can flick the lens around if you're hanging the lights upside down or if you're having them standing up or even on their side. Actually, I don't think you can do it on the side. It's not actually perfectly square. It looks square, but it's not perfectly square. So don't quote me on that. It's either that way or this way. But I do know some people put it that way, but you can't flick the light 90 degrees. It can only go 180 degrees. Okay, I'm going off subject. Now, also in the box when you buy D4s, you get one of these. So as you can see, that is a clear lens, top and bottom. So that would be a D4 spotlight. With the D3s, I don't know this for a fact, well, I'm, well it must be, with the D3s, you're gonna have some spare lenses inside the box. I'm assuming this, but it has to be because based on the specs that I've been given. So you can either fit the spot beam lens or you can fit the hybrid beam lens. Now, if you fit the hybrid beam lens, so, you've, so you're sticking the actual lens like what you have on this D4 right now, you're putting that onto the D3, you're still gonna get a beam distance of 1,050 feet by 225 feet. So that 100 foot width has already been expanded over 100% more to 225 feet. But obviously we're sacrificing almost half of that beam distance by putting the hybrid beam on. Now, when they refer to the combo beam, that is when you fit one hybrid lens onto one light and you then put a spot lens onto the other light. So basically it's not a matching pair. So if you were to fit a combo lens, well then we've got a beam distance of 1,520 feet with a beam width of 175 feet based on the combo setup. That's with the D3s, all right? So that's pretty impressive specs. So looking at a single pod, each pod's got a power draw of three amps, so combine that six amps. So compared to the D7s, which is 10 amps, it's pretty good. Not only that, the D4s have got a combined power draw of 6.6 .6 amps. So actually the new D3s are going to draw less than the D4s are, only by 0.6 amps for a pair. But this way it gets very clever because the lumens on a single D3 is 2,100. The lumens on a D7 on a pair is 15,330. So half that, that's 7,000, 6, 700, whatever. So I don't understand how they can get this power out of an LED light with far less lumens. There's obviously some sort of other technology going on there to get that light out there. And even the D4s as well. D4s have a raw lumens of 8,760 on a pair. So a single pod of rear lumens would be 4,000 300 and something or other. So going on to the actual D4 beam, so to try and compare the new D3 driving light against the D4, the D4 has a, has a spot beam distance. So that's basically taking off the hybrid lenses and putting the spotlights on the D4s. That will give you 800 feet in spot beam distance. So going back to the D3, the spot beam distance, remember, was 1,910 feet. And the width of the D3 is 100 feet. The width of the D4 on spot beam distance is 110 feet. Okay, so it gives you an idea. So it's almost a case of like, what do you prefer? I've had customers over the past two years saying they just, they, they just don't like the, the square D4. So if you don't like the square D4, well then the D3 is going to be a perfect perfect decision for you just for a few pennies more. Also the D3s measure at nine millimeters wide in diameter. So I took a tape measure out on the D4 earlier and the measurement was literally just from inside the bezel to the other corner. So the new D3s are going to come in roughly like they'll be able to sit inside the frame of the D4. So they're going to appear just a little bit smaller than the D4. I think they've put a lot of thought into that because some people find the D4s a bit too big, hence why a lot of people go for the S4s. Some people find the S4s a little bit too small so i find i think these d3s are going to sit perfectly between the s4s and the d4s but obviously this time they're circular not square so it all depends on what, what you want some people like to have two sets of auxiliary lights so you've got one pair of d4s and one pair of s4s and then some people don't like to mix the d4s with a circular light so you might have d4s and d2s some people don't like that because you've got squares and circles so there's so many different people out there with different tastes and what they want to do to their bike the permutation 
limitations are endless of what you can do to your bike. Not only that, the new D3s are gonna come with all the colored lenses as well. Now, I haven't got those in order because basically they weren't offered to me when they asked me to put an order in, but I know that they are making amber and selective yellow lenses for them. I'll show you the pictures now. It looks fantastic on some of the promotional material that Denali have already produced. So I'll make sure I'll be stocking lots of that once I've got it in. Remember, my website, if it's in stock, we say it's in stock. If it's not in stock, you'll see a little red thing there saying it's on back order. There, there is definitely more on the way. They are coming if it says that, okay? But I wouldn't always delay. With COVID supply chains that are still ongoing, I really wouldn't risk leaving anything to the last minute. Don't wait for things to say it's in stock. It's not the way things work. We had 50 D4s delivered today. If you go on the website now, I don't know when you've seen this video, but we've gone there now. There's only four left because that the 46 were all back ordered. So, and I'm waiting for another 50, which are hopefully gonna arrive in the next two or three weeks. So <laughs> don't leave it. I've, I've got a feeling these D3s, <sighs> I don't know if they're gonna go quick or not, actually. I'm not too sure. I think once people see them on their bikes and they start getting around and I start actually providing footage and pictures of it on people's bikes, then I think people are gonna thinking, actually, these D3s are pretty spectacular. Start placing orders and then we'll be in a severe back order situation very quickly. Anyway, I'm rambling along now. I don't normally ask for this, okay, because I don't wanna come across as a typical YouTuber, but if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, I don't always ask for this as well. It's very quick and easy for me to post on Instagram, very quick things that are happening day to day. It, so if you get on Instagram, go on your phone, download the app if you haven't got it, get onto Instagram, I sync it with my Facebook as well. I always post quick pictures on there every now and then when there's something exciting about to happen because the whole YouTube video thing takes time to film and then edit, upload, put all the links in. So get onto my Instagram account, it's just a bike thing. Just Instagram forward slash a bike thing. You'll find me, I'll stick a link down below as well. Oh no, we haven't, we haven't even spoken about the fog lamps yet. Let me quickly get the fog lamp stats out of the way. So the fog beam, I'm just excited about the driving lights. The fog beam distance is going to give you 400 feet in length because remember fog isn't about projecting light down the road. It's about being as bright as you possibly can be and it gives you a beam width of 300 feet. These things are going to just sparkle. You're going to be seen from a mile away. That is what the whole thing of the fog is. So something I'm going to talk about in a video coming soon. If you remember I did a video over a year ago where I showed a big shootout. I think it's called Denali 101, a great big shootout of all the Denali pods, doing a comparison of all of them. Well, obviously, because the D3s are now coming into stock, we need to renew that. I know I'm a little bit even grayer. I'm hoping I'm looking a little bit better than I was over a year or so ago. My hair's definitely shorter. I'm definitely losing more hair. I've got more wrinkles for sure. But I'm definitely gonna do a much better version of that again. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that when I bring that out. I'm gonna sit down on the table again, plug all the lights in so you can see them all working side by side so you can get a feeling of all the size comparisons side by side. Just to finish off and I'll talk about it again in the future video, you need to ask yourself are you a day rider, a night rider or are you a combination of both? Because then this is going to really help you decide what driving light you want on your bike. You know when you look up in the sky at night time and you can see thousands of stars as long as it's not cloudy, there's thousands of stars in the sky but there's always a few that are like ridiculously super bright. They are your fog lights, all right? That is the fog light star. So the D3 fog, think of it like that. You'll be seen all through the day. I know you can't see stars during the daytime necessarily, but you know what I'm trying to say, yeah? So they will be seen so easily during the day, during the night, people will see you, but it's not gonna project light down the road. So if you want a really good driving light, well then you buy your D7s like I've got on my triple black or you buy these new D3 driving light pods which is just a shade more expensive than the D4. I can't wait to compare these D3 driving pods with my D7s. In a way I think I'm going to be quite disappointed <laughs> if they're just as powerful as the D7s. Like how can they be? Right, sorry to bored you with all this inmates. And when I say inmates, I appreciate I'm getting like 10, 20, 30, 40 new subscribers a day and I get questions, what's this inmate business? I'm not a prisoner, I haven't been inside. I hope I never do see inside. Inmates, it's a life behind bars, handlebars. Hey, stay safe behind those bars and I'll see you in the next video.